and welcome back to my channel. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. So today's unit is from omgqueen.com and she is this really pretty kinky curly unit you guys and I decided to add some fall color to her. So I've been really into like these fall colors lately and I'm trying to fight the urge to dye my real hair. So I decided to dye this unit using this high color by L'Oreal in the color copper and red copper and then I'm just using this 30 volume developer. So I'm going to go ahead and mix those two together and it gives you this really bright orange color and I'm going to begin applying this all over the unit you guys so I've actually already had this unit before I had this unit a couple of years ago maybe like maybe three years ago I got it from them and people thought that it was my real hair so that's why I thought it would be perfect to fight the urge of dyeing my real hair you guys and just dyeing this unit and I also got it a little longer than my real hair because you know why not so OMG Queen is actually having their biggest sale of the year right now. So it's going on between November 16th and it's over on December 6th. And all of their units will be 35 to 40% off, including this one, you guys. So I'll go ahead and leave anything that you guys may need down below in the description box, along with direct links, coupon codes, and any of the products that I'm using, including like my wig head and my stand and the colors as well, will all be linked down below. So do not forget to check that. So I let the color sit in the hair for about an hour then I went ahead and rinsed it out and then I styled the hair and I let it air dry and this is what the unit looks like the next day I used um, what did I use I used the Miss Jessie's jelly soft curls and then I used the main choice spray leave-in and I just let it sit overnight and this is how the curls came out you guys and look how beautiful these curls are and the color came out bomb and the curls are still intact you guys So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the lace and then I'm going to use the black got to be glue as my adhesive today. If you guys want any detailed videos on how I pluck, how I do baby hair, um, how I apply my units with different types of adhesives, I'll go ahead and leave a few for you down below in the description box as well. So this is my absolute favorite way to apply my wigs, you guys. I just take my rat tail comb and I place my wig exactly where I want it. And then I put a little bit of my got to be glue on the end of my rat tail comb and just slide it under the unit. That way I'm putting the glue exactly where it needs to be and I don't have to worry about having like all of that excess that's around my forehead. Then I got to wipe it off and wipe my makeup off and do everything all over again and stuff like that. So this just makes it really easy. And then once I have it pushed down, I just go ahead and take a little bit more of the got to be glue and I go along the edges where the lace meets my forehead and kind of just press that down and this gives like a super melted effect. Once I have everything tacked down, I just go in and blow dry it a bit and then I move to the next section, either the right side or the left side and repeat the same exact process. But I'll tell you the things we can do if you give in. There is nothing to be broken in this moment. Don't let me think back, give me what I need. Just wanna Once the unit is tacked down, I just go ahead and do a little bit of baby hairs. I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a few on the sides and at the top. And then I like to go in with something wet first, which is the Cream of Nature Mousse. And I go ahead and shape my baby hairs like that. And then to apply the hold, I go in with my Lovely Bees Edge Control just a little bit and place it on top just to keep the baby hairs from moving around.
And then I'm going to take a little bit of foundation powder and I'm just going to go over my parting area and over the hairline area. Don't let me think back, give me what I need. Just want to forget, don't need time to breathe. Still has bumping blood, waiting up for fun. And this is what the hairline looks like up close and in 4K, you guys. Now I'm just taking my pick and I'm going to go ahead and fluff the curls out a bit. And then I decided to shape my face a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors or my shears and I'm going to cut um, around my face area and like kind of around the back to kind of give it like that mushroom shape. And that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description box down below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I post. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. But I'll tell you the things we can do if you give in. There is nothing to be broken. Hear this moment. Don't let